Ah. Nearly packed, love. Hey, before I forget, thanks for arranging this weekend, Ted. You're only 60 once, Barbara. You're going to have the best birthday you've ever had. Ooh, could be the best birthday I've ever had. Hold your horses, Tonto. We haven't got there yet. <laughs> Hello, Bar. I've got your present. It's in here. Thank you, Doreen. Clive's not coming. What a terrible row over breakfast. Oh, dear. It's my fault. I've got to pick the raisins out of his muesli. <laughs> Where the hell have you been? Ah, uh, pub, party, another party, another pub, hospital, stomach pump, <laughs> now bed. Oh, no, you don't. It's my 60th birthday. Your father's booked a country cottage. Mum, please, don't make me go on a family outing. Just get in the van. <laughs> All right. But if you start singing three wheels on my wagon, I'm chucking myself out. <laughs> Hello, Linda. Not brought Georgie. No, he's got a bit of a cold, so Pam's taking him. Anyway, I'm quite looking forward to having a whole weekend without having to listen to the non-stop babble of a two-year-old. Oh, are. What a beautiful day to be off to the countryside. <laughs> this is sure. <laughs> you got to hear my pretty. <laughs> he's very jolly. What's he on? My tits. <laughs> oh, I just found out this morning that he'd been voted the third sexiest man in Yorkshire. Who? The readers of Help the Aged magazine. <laughs> and you can leave that here, Martin. This weekend, we're going to have a bit of peace and quiet. Hello, Barbara. Ooh, like the blouse. What are you shouting for? What? What are you shouting for? I'm a bit blocked up. I've got an ear infection. New treatment down the health spa. They hose you down with hot mud. I was that busy trying to keep my bikini bottoms up. I forgot to put my earplugs in. I wish I'd got earplugs. <laughs> Beautician said that she'd given me the skin of a 20-year-old. It's a pity she didn't have your size. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take all that. It's for me bird-watching, Ted. The air is renowned for its barn owls. I love barn owls. You know, the call of a barn owl sends a tingle down my spine. Ah! Now, your tawny owl's completely different. Ooh. 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 Just, just get in the van, will you? <laughs> They're marvellous, these people carry us, aren't they, Ted? Yeah, I borrowed it off my mate, Brian. My Clive toyed with the idea of getting a people carrier, but... Uh, he decided against it. I wasn't surprised. He doesn't like people. <laughs> Will you close that roof, Ted? I can't, Bar. It's jammed. <laughs> Only going to agree. What's the matter you call it a grebe, Doreen? <laughs> no, that's a, that's a gannet. A grebe goes... How much further is it, Ted? Two hours. Well, put your foot down, otherwise I'm going to strangle those greaves. How are you feeling, Linda? Fine, thanks. Because Barbara was telling me that since Georgie was born, you felt like your body was all falling apart. Did she? Yeah, well, I'm fine. Thank you. How's your cellulite? <laughs> all right. Still got your thrush? <laughs> what about your cystitis? Oh, Phil, what's this? Uh, it's, got, it's got big wings and a sort of white and orange body. It's a bird of paradise. Don't in the book, the book. It's got an orange tail and down the side, the word's easy, Jet. <laughs> Where's the food, Mum? I'm hungry. There's two big boxes of shopping in the bag. No, there isn't. Well, it must be somewhere. You did pack them. Yes, but I'm not stopping. We'll sort it out when we get there. I think it's here, Bart. Oh, Ted, it looks lovely. Oh, at last. I'm 
starving. Oh, dying for a peep. I'll be looking for the nearest day stack, my buxom wench. Oh. Are you going to keep this up all weekend? If you'll let me. I am, after all, the third sexiest man in Yorkshire. And who was voted the sexiest, Martin? Alan Titchmarsh. Yes, I can see that. He has these rough gardener's hands. Imagine them scouring every inch of your body. Where's the key, then, Ted? Uh, the key will be outside the front door, under the third flower pot from the right. Right. Uh, get the food. Get the food. Yes, yes, all right, all right, it's here. It was here. <laughs> Where? It's in two boxes. Oh, God, he's lost the food! He's lost the food! Can <laughs> you get in, Ted? I'm dying for a pee. Well, go behind the edge. I can't do it outside. I just stand there and nothing happens. <laughs> you know, Linda, between you and me, I think your head's too big for your body. <laughs> Very kind, Jean. You see, if you had your breasts enlarged, it would help your posture and your head wouldn't look so big. <laughs> He's lost the food. I must, I must have left it in the drive. Well, we can't find the key. But the key will be outside the front door under the third flower pot from the right. Well, is it there, then? Well, no. Well, perhaps they meant they're right. What do you mean, they're right? It isn't Ooh. under any of them. Give me that, Ted. The key will be outside the front door under the third flower pot from the right. I just read that. Give it here. <laughs> the key will be outside the front door under the third flower pot from the right. Listen, I'll go around the back and see if they've left any windows open. Whoa. Clive always says that in this situation you've got to apply logic. Yes. Put yourself in the shoes of the cottage owner. Right. If you were the owner, where would you have put the key? Well, I don't know. Under a flower pot, I suppose. Well, it isn't there. So you must have put it somewhere else. <laughs> Is it open? Yeah. Can oh. you give me a hand? I see we've got a full moon. <laughs> sure. Hey, not too hard. Remember, this is the third sexiest bum in Yorkshire. <laughs> Come on. Oh, steady. Steady. Oh. 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 <laughs> no, we've booked this cottage. No, we've booked this cottage. What's this, then? I've got to use your toilet. I'm, I'm sorry, but I... Yeah, it's right, Bar. They have booked this cottage. Well, so have we. Show him your form, Ted. Right. Yeah. It seems... <laughs> it seems... It seems... <laughs> <clears throat> well, it seems the agency's double booked. Give me that, Ted. I'll ring what... We're not leaving. It's my father's 80th birthday tomorrow. Oh, that's nice. Well, it's my 60th tomorrow. That's nice too. Well, we were here first. We've got a point there, Bar. Shut up, Doreen. There's no one at the agency. Answer phone. Linda! There's someone who could do with a boob job. <laughs> They're hanging like Spaniel's ears. Right. It's been lovely meeting you, but we'd really like to go back to our beds in our cottage. So if you don't mind... <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, please. Just a slice. Put my father's cake down. <laughs> What a nice family. 
Well, that's it then. I suppose we better all go home. No, come on. You can't go. We'll go to that pub we passed back there. They've got rooms. It'll be my treat. Oh, Martin. Hey, listen to this. The pub guide says the crown and scepter boasts a warm and friendly atmosphere. Oh, bugger the atmosphere. What about the food? <laughs> it has eight double bedrooms, all with luxury ensuite bathrooms. Has he got a toilet? <laughs> of course it's got a toilet. It sounds lovely, Martin. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. <clears throat> no wheels on my wagon. <laughs> So I'm not rolling along. Neil. It's turning into a bit of a disaster this weekend. <laughs> well. Well, I don't know what's wrong. I'll tell you what's wrong, Ted. I'm tired, I'm cold and I'm hungry and in an hour's time I'll be 60. I'm sorry, love. I'll, I'll call a breakdown service. G give me a mobile. I haven't got it. Martin. Where's back at the house? Why haven't you brought your mobile? Because you told me not to. Why well, do you have to do everything I tell you to do? Yeah. All right, let's just get this straight. The cottage you found was double booked. The van you've borrowed has broken down. We're in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the night, with no food and no folk. I really wanted this to be a night to remember. Oh, I remember it all right. <laughs> no, the pub's not far. I'll, I'll go and get help. I hope my 60th birthday is this much fun. <laughs> Ted! Where are you going? To find this pub! Well, it's not that way. It's this way. <laughs> it's, uh, this way. <laughs> yes! I've got it! What? I think it's a toffee. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to eat it, are you? It's either this or you. <laughs> Why don't we play a game? Keep our spirits up. What do you suggest? I like Monopoly. Have you brought it, Dory? <laughs> no. Oh, excuse me. Got to go again. <laughs> I spy. Dory. <laughs> Are you sure it's this way? Yes. Well, why did we leave the road? Oh, it's a shortcut. I tell you, we're going the wrong way. Look, Ted, you've made a bit of a mess of things so far, haven't you? I think we'd be better off doing things my way. Hmm. <laughs> Will you budge up? I've only got one cheek on this case. Well, we need a trunk to get them both on. Oh, come on, everyone. We're all tired, we're all cold, and we're all hungry. We've got to keep calm. You know, Linda, if you don't do something about your breasts, they'll look like your mother's. <laughs> if I hadn't had mine done, they'd be like yours round your knees. <laughs> At least my knees are where they're supposed to be. Yours are normally round your ears. <laughs> She'll have to have them done sooner or later. Jean, will you stop talking about my breasts? Will I what? Will you stop talking about my breasts? Breasts! <laughs> Let's see, we're all keeping calm. Clive's very much a breasts man. Not too big, not too small, as long as they're the same size. <laughs> Martin, what? Did you hear a distant scream? Oh, yeah. Sounded like an older man being strangled by his son-in-law. <laughs> Ted, look. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey! Oh, stop! 
Oh. 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 Ah. Ah. Hello. Hello. Uh, we're looking for the uh, for the Crown and Scepter. <laughs> I've been attacked. There's a man on the loose. Are you all right, Phil? It was a barn owl. I just unzipped and suddenly it, it swooped and savaged me. Must have mistaken it for a field mouse. Coming from nowhere. There's a man on the loose. Next minute, I felt these talons gripping me groin and it started pecking. It wouldn't stop pecking. Come on, Phil. Bloody barn owls. <laughs> Very, uh, very kind of you, fellas. Yes. <laughs> you uh, might recognise me off the telly. <laughs> Martin Pond? No. Seen up north, you know? Pond life? No. Do you, uh, do, do, do you live round here? Yep. Yeah. Right. What have you been doing in these ear parts? Oh, ar. <laughs> Badger baiting, mole gurgling, turkey tickling. Oh, ar. <laughs> Have you ever seen Little House on the Prairie? Try this cream, Linda. Uh, no, thanks, Jane. See, you've got a combination skin. Oh, do you mind? See, it's greasy there and it's flaky there. Just get off, will you? 60 years old, eh, Dory? How the hell did I get to be 60? It seems I was only 40 a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> now I'm a pensioner. You're only as old as you feel. I feel 80. <laughs> You bull git! Oh, what was that? You just put in your mouth? Nothing. They were sweets. Give them here. No, they're mine. You've been eating all the time. I've been starving. They're only one gums. Give them here. There you go. Keep away, then, boy. <laughs> oh! Sorry, man. Is, uh, is, is this the Crown and Scepter? Fellas? Out. I beg your pardon? Out! Money. What? Give us your money. Now, come on, fellas. And your clothes. <laughs> I'm wondering that. Does it hurt, Neil? Of course it bloody hurts! Now, don't you talk to Doreen like that. My Clive broke his nose playing dominoes once. <laughs> How much do you weigh? <coughs> Fourteen stone, why? I'm thinking... we could kill you. <laughs> and then eat you. Mum, is my face all red? Oh, I don't know. Cheeks are burning up where Jean rubbed that cream on me. Somebody stop him looking at me. It's all very well, laugh, eh? Laugh. You know, a laugh. Ooh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, mate, you, you, you've got old money. I'm, I mean, dance. <laughs> what? Dance. I don't want to dance. <laughs> <laughs> Gone midnight. Oh, Barbara, you're 60. Barbara, 
You're officially an old age pensioner. You can have a bus pass. Thank you, Jean. We should have some champagne. Go on, Linda. Funnily enough, Jean, I don't feel like celebrating. Oh, come on, Mum. Open your presents. Yeah, open your presents, Mum. Mine's a flat one in there, Phil. You'll like it. I know you will. Is it an AA man with a tent and a hamper? No. <laughs> Clive's been doing art classes. Oh. <laughs> Dawn. Dawn, you! Yes, all except for my slippers. Clive can't draw feet. Oh, you're right. Clive is a breast man, isn't he? Open mine now. What is it? It's an electrolysis machine. It removes excess facial hair. I haven't got any. You will have. Think of Mum. Well, thank you very much, Jean. You can let Linda borrow it. It won't be long with your skin. Will somebody shut her up? Oh my God! He's <laughs> the third sexiest man in Yorkshire. <laughs> Still got that spare tire there, Martin. What on earth happened to you? Some men took our clothes and made us dance. And I just bought those slacks new. Didn't find the pub then? No. Happy birthday, love. Happy birthday, Barbara. Yeah. Happy birthday, Mum. <laughs> yeah, I love well that. Happy birthday, Barbara. Happy birthday, Barbara. Happy birthday, Bar. Hello? Oh, hello, Clive. Yes, well, we've had quite an adventure. <laughs> Hang on a minute. It's Clive. He wants to wish you a happy birthday. 